So uh, I love when I'm making videos and then I realize that I didn't push the little red record button. So uh, I'm just I'm here at home cutting my triticale. Uh, this is our our circle that we planted the no-till the oats into. Uh, obviously, they uh, I mean you can see they're there. They're only about like eight inches tall. So they might actually come back after this. Um, but yeah, I mean, this stuff's doing phenomenal. It's awesome. Very happy with it. Um, just beautiful, beautiful hay. And I think this is gonna just, the windrows on this stuff are just so, so large. I don't, you know, I wanna put this in round bales and keep it for myself. I'm actually gonna sell almost all of my hay this year. Uh, I'll sell a good majority of it. I'll still keep a good good amount. But I'm going to be actually in the market to sell hay, which I haven't done for about three years. Um, so I'm, I'm this stuff I'm going to keep for myself because the alfalfa in it is, you know, three foot tall. And this stuff's just, this is just the best hay. I won't sell any of this. I'll keep this personal use. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, now we were really concerned with this circle. I mean, this is the circle that got that that uh, virus in it and killed so much of it. But I, for some reason, we just uh, we got lucky. We got extremely lucky. I don't know what this stuff's gonna do so far as like bales. Uh, last year we got a hundred bales off this out the circle, like a hundred and nine. And uh, yeah, well, you know, you could see the ground between the between the rows and everything, so uh, you can't this year. I, I, I think we'll get over 100 bales off this thing. Uh, we'll just see. That, that'll be kind of pretty interesting. Uh, exact same variety, but we just didn't have any any moisture at all last year, anything like that, and so, you know, this year we had some, some we didn't have a lot of winter moisture, but we had a, some good spring rains, and and we've had some good rain since then, and uh, we, were just, we were just able to put a good amount of water down on it. And uh, this circle got more water than any of the rest of them due to breakdowns and other pivots and stuff like that. Uh, our other pivot, it's not as heavy as this. It's as tall as this, but it's not as thick. But I'm, I'm very excited to see uh, what we're going to be able to do. And so just for the people who are going to ask, this is... Uh, a uh, slick trick or a triticale 348, you know, it's, it's a big forge triticale, so we're just super, super happy so far. I mean, come on, that's beautiful. Oh, one hand. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, I, uh, I'm gonna get this circle finished up, and then I'm gonna go cut that one. So, because my buddy is gonna need his swather back to uh, cut his alfalfa, so I gotta get this stuff done. But I'm uh, I'm excited to see how all this turns out. You can see that that alfalfa just is just kind of a line just right through there, just real pretty. But anyways, uh, stay tuned and maybe we'll get a bale count and stuff like that. Uh, I guess we could do what old Beezer was doing and do a bale count contest. I I've got some t-shirts and stuff like that. Maybe if I got the right size, we can send you one. I know we're gonna get some new ones in, but. Uh, you know, this last year this circle put off 109 bales. You know, uh, take a guess, see what it does, and that, those are five by six round bales. Is what it did.